Hi guys, I'm Michaela. I'm Rachel's cousin and I am so grateful that she is helping me out and getting my life together. Um, to tell you guys a little bit about me, I work from home as a blogger and I have two little kids, ages one and four, and I just need a space in my house that I can dedicate to me, where I can like come in, close the door, like get my stuff done and be efficient and feel good in my space. Um, Cause like doing my work on my couch with my kids, like climbing on my shoulders, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work anymore. So I am so excited to see what she comes up with and yeah, cannot wait. I'm gonna show you how to tackle this over a weekend's time. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. I got Invisalign and I have to like really reassess how I speak. <laughs> As Michaela mentioned, this is going to be sort of a one-stop shop from her office to her escape pod, essentially, and then Adrian can come in here and play his video games, but also to entertain because they can have guests over since that couch turns into a bed. It kind of needs to triple as a space, if you will. Because the room needs to stay a room and it needs to be functional where they can move things out of the way and pull that bed out of the couch, that is why Michaela sent over to me a office in a closet. And I've actually never seen one of these before, but when I started to dive in, it makes a lot of sense. I love that she told me I can take everything out of the closet and not even worry about it because we're gonna be transforming the garage into a playroom for the girls. So day one was me just coming over, taking everything out of the space that I could, organizing it into the garage for her, but then also taking measurements of the entire space all the walls the depth of it the height the whole shebang I like taking the day to measure to really step back and kind of dive into the space once I get somewhere where I can sit I'm really old school and I write it out on a piece of paper and just start to sketch my ideas right onto it and then that's when I'll turn to Pinterest for interior decor or colorways just to get a better visual I ended up coming back later that evening because Michaela and her family went to Big Bear so I could just dive in and do a little bit of demo without disturbing the babies. I took the doors off to open up the space and I know that sounds kind of weird because you think like mirrors would make the room look bigger but in this case since they were so large and in charge it kind of just made the room feel very closed off and small. Day two was all about paint and building out the shelves themselves. And I know that sounds like two very simple things, but I always a lot more time than needed because I always think I can get things done super quickly and then it ends up taking me four times as long. So I try to designate only a couple of steps per day to not overwhelm myself. I painted out the closet, painted out the closet. I painted the closet a pure black by bear in a flat finish just because I didn't want to bring any sheen over there. Michaela was all down to paint this black because the office itself, which you will see in a week or two, is going to be stark white. So I thought it was a good contrast and it also will make the room look a little bit more deep. For the shelving in the desk portion, I'm doing my floating shelves from my laundry room makeover. I will link it for you guys, but I'm doing it a little bit better because I learned a little bit more about wood. This time around, I'm doing three quarter inch thick plywood just because it is a working space and I liked the heavier duty feeling of it versus like that thin laminate I used last time. For the framing itself, I'm using two by twos. No need to get crazy and use two by fours. That's gonna make the desk and the shelf be thicker than I would like. I like to have my wood cut for the shelves prior to making the frame because I need a very hands-on, like I am cutting this frame down correctly. You will see right here that I did it wrong. I'm measuring it thinking I cut all my pieces right, but in fact, that frame is 24 inches deep where my desk itself is going to be 20 inches deep by 75. So always double check your measurements. Make sure you're accounting for the thickness of your wood that you are using because say I were to have made this 20 by 75 and went to put my plywood on top of it, the plywood itself would have been cut too small because I didn't, you know, compensate. After trimming those pieces down on the miter saw, you will now see that this measures to be a little bit less than 20 inches because I wanted to be on the safe side. Just a tip, if you wanna make it easier for install to anchor to your wall, just screw together one side so you have the open side to be able to get in between those two by twos. To finish up day two, I just sealed up the wood with a couple of coats of satin clear poly and started to listen to today's sponsor because that's what keeps me going through these types of projects. So thank you Audible for sponsoring today's video. That time of year when everyone is traveling or running around and getting thoughtful gifts or hello, in my case, room makeovers for the people that they care about. So think about giving yourself the gift of an Audible membership. Now is the best time to do it with a special offer of 53% off your first three months. You have an access to an unbeatable selection of audiobooks, including bestsellers, motivation, 
fiction, mysteries, thrillers, memoirs, and much more. You can choose three titles every single month, one audiobook, and two exclusive Audible originals you can't hear anywhere else. You can listen on any device, anytime, anywhere with the Audible app. It's great while commuting at the gym or during your holiday travels. In my case, again, room makeovers for people that I love. Now, my boyfriend is not sponsored by Audible, but he always throws out different suggestions of audiobooks that he's currently listening to and he's in love with. And I decided to take him up on one of the suggestions, which was Talking to Strangers by Malcolm Gladwell. And I have to say, it kept my interest the entire time. And it was definitely new material to me, but it was like an audiobook that was married with a podcast. I definitely recommend it. Right now, if you want to join me for a limited time, you can actually get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. That's more than half off regular price. So you can choose one audiobook and two audiobook originals by visiting audible.com slash METS or texting METZ, that's my last name, METZ, to 500-500. Do yourself a favor and give yourself the gift of listening. For more, go to audible.com slash METZ or again, you can text METZ to 500-500. Day two complete. Day three is basically just installing and starting to finish up the space. I used my laser level to hang the desk itself at 30 inches high. I just Googled what the standard height for a desk was and that was what kept coming up. I then hung the second shelf to be 24, well actually 25 inches above of that frame to make way for the pegboard that I've actually done a tutorial on before. I will link it for you to put a pegboard in between those two, the desk and the shelf. And for the top shelf I just did equidistance between the space that was left over and I painted the pegboard frame black because fun fact when you step back if I were to have not done that you would see that raw wood through the holes of the pegboard and it is hard to kind of get in there and paint when you see it it is so annoying so try to paint your frame before installing the pegboard if you're doing it on a specific wall color it was Lulu's nap time so I had to just put the power tools on hold I started to decorate with just a combination of what I have owned previously and could use in the space and what Michaela has owned previously and she purchased a couple of things for this space but not much I just messed around with the shelving until I felt comfortable. It took me about an hour and a half to style these completely. Remember we took the closet doors off? Well, the track is still there because she wants the option to be able to put them back on. So I just gave it a fresh coat of flat, deep brown paint to just make it look a little bit more crispy and clean. Lulu woke up so I was able to just kind of power through the rest of it by installing the desktop or whatever else like shelving cover that I had left. I pre-drilled holes to make sure that the nails could be flush to the wood and I can fill it with wood putty so you couldn't see them. But I didn't want to nail gun the desktop in. I don't know why, I just was feeling like I just wanted to make sure it just stayed in place. Not that a nail gun wouldn't suffice for here. I just, I don't know why I was tripping so hard. other people's spaces I tend to leave the picture frames completely empty because I do believe that is something that should be left for the homeowner or whoever's room it is they should be able to choose the memories that are going in the frames that they want to see every single day I listed where I got every single piece of decor. I bought this. This is like literally the only thing I bought for the space and these two fake plants from Home Goods. This cable was not an issue. I just pushed it up into the ceiling and then used these like wire holders and screwed it directly into the ceiling to make it flush. These will disappear when we hang up the drapes. As far as the pegboard, she didn't have anything to hang up on it yet. So I just put these pegboard accessories in that amber glass that used to be a candle so she can use it whenever she pleases. I didn't mind for you to see the edge of the plywood. I actually liked the straight lines of it because the drapes ended up having straight long lines in it as well. I just nail gunned it to the front of the shelves and I didn't add a finish to the front of these because I wanted to keep them super flat, but the tops of the desk and the shelves are protected. I filled the nail holes with wood putty and just wiped it away. The last and final touch was to hang up the drapes and I'm actually using the same exact rod from the rod where I demoed, believe it or not, because you can just grab these curtain rod ends that are like $2, they're wood and they're at Home Depot. Fun fact is Michaela's actually out shopping for a couple of last minute needs for the space while I was finishing it up, like these drapes, because the original drapes she wanted there were actually too short. They need to be 96 inches long, but they were only 84. She also picked up a couple of warmer orange accents from World Market, like the chair and the vases you'll see in the after, which I've linked everything I can down below for you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Walk in. 
<laughs> okay. Yes. <gasps> oh <laughs> my god. Are you kidding me right now? Do you love? Like what are your thoughts? <laughs> I can't. Why? It is amazing. <laughs> And you can obviously clean it up and everything, but like you can remove any decor or whatever. The pegboard's empty but it has a picture oh hanging gosh. there. I am obsessed with it. Okay. okay, ready? Your reaction. Featuring your arms. <laughs> oh, wow. Doesn't it look so good? It's amazing. You are literally a genius. <laughs> Not even close. You told me what you wanted. No, I didn't. like holy shit. If you don't mind me, it's it. work. <laughs> like literally your own space. And these are so perfect. And you can close it too, but I like the black kind of hooking them open. But if you wanted to, like when you have guests, it goes all the way across so you can pull them completely okay. shut. This is insane. I am just stunned. What do you think? <gasps> Isn't it so beautiful? Do you love? Look at it, baby. Oh gosh, I'm just seriously obsessed. Mom, Rachel just finished, Rachel just finished my closet. Do you want to see it? <laughs> so freaking good. Okay, are you ready? What? Isn't that, isn't it so good? Thank you so much to Audible for sponsoring today's video to make this makeover possible. Truly just the look on Michaela's face, having her first official like mom blogger sit her space was just such a cool reaction to see. And I'm happy I finally got to be able to share a reaction of a room with you guys. Total side note, but this is completely functional per Michaela's request. What I love most is that underneath the desk where you see those wicker baskets, she can remove those since she is an influencer and like put all of her packages that she receives. So they'll be organized, but also in her work workspace but you can close the drapes at the end of the day if the guest is going to be staying in that room and they won't see your mess. This is a huge transformation and I only spent about 180 bucks at the end of the day, which is absolutely insane. From owning previous decor to utilizing some lumber I had on hand, this project is not only affordable, but doable over weekend for any of you guys.